let's say arts and nature were always together, and arts and discovery were always together, what separate them so far apart has been definitely the idea of museums, the idea of galleries, the idea of those small businessmen, the idea obviously of the market, the idea of reducing a creative work into a stock market commodity. This is what has separated the two. Obviously, when creation began to be a way of trading business, we are no longer concerned with creation. The biggest insult the Metropolitan Museum of New York gave to creation was when they exhibited the Rembrandt painting and advertised all over that they paid $4 million. Many people have said, if they had exhibited a $4 million banknote in that wall, just as many people would have gone to see it. In a way, we have to start having some more revolutionary concepts in the space era. We have to stop just overcompensating and wasting an enormous amount of money to feed a group of curators or a group of institutions which stand against the creation of man, but they actually stand for the preservation of the, of, of the stock market at the, of the arts. We have to start opening new places, new area, where actually city become really involved with culture idea. Where culture, it is not a locked thing idea, which just some three or four or five or ten specialists are dealing about. They don't know any more really than the men on the street. The highest things in museum today is, is the snobbery, the nastiness, the, the antagonism to anything which is creative. And the public definitely is not concerned because, as I said, how is the, how is the woman we tell children going to be concerned with the preservation of trivia in our galleries and museum or the exchange and the selling of that trivia? She is not. She is concerned about bread and the daily task of living. But how can the creative artists allow the continuity of this structure? How can the creative artists who are in the process of creating own concern about the present structure? They cannot. If they stop to be court jester, let's say the artist, if they stop to be entertaining of one particularly royalty-like, wealthy class, of a particular capitalistic class, which simply castrates them and compensates them at the same time, then they must start getting, opening up their mind, they start, up, start opening up their senses and also creates new way to present creation to the public. And this is, in itself could, could be a whole long discussion in which way. But the so-called artist or the so-called creative man has to bridge this enormous span of what this spaceman is doing today, what he is trying to tell us today, what he's really trying to tell us about the problem which we will encounter in the future and what is happening today on Earth. I'm strongly in favor of the computer age and I'm strongly in favor of the whole kind of civilization which will have to come from the space era. So I will never discuss in terms of going back. There is no going back for man. In a way, sorry for man, but that spirit that keeps him going up in space like the cosmonaut does not allow him to go back.